the way he tried to do it, right, is he said, like, I can't agree with that at all, right? So there's different strokes for different folks, pun intended. You have women who are sapiosexuals, right? Uh, for those who don't know, that's uh, people who are attracted to your mind, right? There are, there are people who are attracted to you physically. There are people who are attracted to your charisma. Any one of these keys can unlock the door, right? That's just plain and simple. So you can't just say that this. there are instances where there are women who are like that. Um, there are some women who use it as a reward system, like Sweeney was saying we shouldn't say earlier. Um, there are women who just really are attracted to you. That's what it all boils down to. Her level of attraction to you is what's going to determine if you get McLovin or not, right? And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be that. She might like your eyes, right? I had a homeboy who had eyes, right? And it didn't matter. He ain't had to have no game. All you got to do is have different color eyes, right? And they own it, right? There's some people who just light skin. They just get it, right? There's some people who are dark skin and they like. Some people who are just very tall. Some people just have a certain build. All of these things can get you in. Most dudes who got a good mouthpiece pause is going to get in there because they know how to run their mouth. You could talk your way into some McLovin at any moment. That's easy, right? There's too many different ways to get in there. Um, like Marcus was saying earlier, or in Sweeney, acts of service. That's another way. I could go ahead and, um, you know what I mean? You, you, sh you tell me something wrong with your car, I'm going to pop your hood. <laughs> I look like Superman. Damn, they thought I was MacGyver or something. Like, oh yeah, that's all you had, <laughs> and that's that's it. Once you could do certain things like that, some some chicks you just gotta give them a ride, right? And it doesn't even matter how you treat them. Some of the women who I treated like trash did some of the most ungodly things possible with no problem, right? So there's no instance that you could just say this is how you get it. It's too many different ways, and I don't want people to say that you have to do that. It is great when you have a beautiful relationship like that, and you can have that intimate bond with a woman, but that's not the only way to get it. There's so many ways to get it. As long as she's attracted to you, you're going to get it. I think, and also, um, I was hoping that he was going in a, in a different direction when he was talking about it, because it, when you with a woman long enough, and and I'm assuming I'm not even assuming we're talking about like just going out and just unlocking any old one. I'm talking, I'm assuming that he's talking about married couples who's been together for a while. I thought he was going in the direction of that women, their hearts and their wounds and their minds are all connected. Sometimes women just like there's other shit going on in their head that just has her not in the mood to have sex in that moment. And sometimes it leaves man confused. Like, damn, thought we was, thought everything was good. And she thinking about the fact that she fucking got to have a teacher's meeting the next day. And that's all that's on her mind. And you sitting over there like, man, we supposed to be having time for us type deal. I thought that was the direction he was going to go in because that's technically true. Women do have their minds and they, they hearts and they vagina be all connected to each other. And they, and it moves however they feel in that moment. And I can see the truth in that. When he's talking about, oh, you got to unlock all of that, some shit you just can't unlock. When she's on that path, sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and go rub one out. <laughs> oh. oh. Go ahead. Yeah, I think he... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what else I can say other than what they already said, man. Uh, like we, we said, we've seen ladies give it up for, for a little bit of nothing. The dudes they can't stand, the baby daddies they can't stand. All of a sudden he comes around apologizing, make everything all right, and he's he's getting them cheeks. So I I, I don't know. I, you know, look, at the end of the day, man, you know, you, you want to be with a woman, you, you you should you should treat her right. You should make sure she's good, uh, uh mentally as well as physically. And, and you know, hopefully she take care of you. And like like Swinney said, don't be using uh sex as a weapon. You know, don't be holding back on the cheeks because uh, when you when you do stuff like that, you ain't gonna do it but give a man a wondering eye. And then he's on he's he's gonna get them cheeks somewhere else. So, ladies, uh, you want your heart right? You want you, you need to make sure his uh he's ta well taken care of and his sack is empty. So, do what you got to do, ladies. Ow. Go ahead, Cloud. Yeah, I, I was gonna say um also like the advice he's given. I, I'm guessing it's for married men. You know, he's a pastor that are having difficulty uh, sleeping with their wives. I would say, like, for some of those guys, 
some of what he's talking about is too much. Some of y'all just need to like take a shower, go get a haircut, dig the crud from under your nails, clip them bitches, you know what I'm saying? Trim your beard up, get, get a new cologne or something, get you some new drawers, you know what I'm saying? Get you some new socks or something and, and, and invite out for some drinks. Take your lady out for some drinks, you know what I'm saying? Go out smelling good and, and remind her why she got with you in the first damn place. I don't think you necessarily have to do all of this introspective shit. Just, just remind her that you fly too. You know what I mean? And she gonna, she gonna have to see it and be, she gonna look at you and be like, "Damn, this nigga's fly." Like, I, I got to get this nigga some cheese. Like, look at him. He, he just got a new cologne. Like, and he about to leave out the front door. I gotta give him some before he go get some. So that's mm-hmm. all you gotta, you gotta keep that energy about yourself. Like, I feel like, I, I feel like a lot of dudes when they get older or when they settle into the relationship, they get into this energy where like. You know, they feel like, oh, I got her already. She ain't going nowhere. Like, I could just sit around on the couch with my, my, my beer gut getting all crazy. It's like, nah, bro. You want her to stay fly? You want her to be looking good? Stay fly, bro. Keep your cologne game right. Keep your suits tailored right. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hairline looking good. If your hairline ain't right, then get the fresh baldy. You know what I mean? And don't don't have your toes smelling all crazy, cutting up your socks to, nope. and untrimmed. You know what I mean? Keep yourself in order, my brother, and you'll do just fine. Man, and, and and Cloud, sometimes it ain't even that hard. Sometimes it's just knocking out a few dishes in the sink. I swear, like, it sometimes it's even that simple. That's like, married people shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? One day shit, waterfall. Yeah. Just, from folding some t- just from folding some towels, bro. We, you know, normally like my wife, because y'all know me and my wife ran the shop together. And one day, you know what I mean? She normally always folds the towels in the shop. This day just so happened she wasn't there. So I just knocked the towels out real quick. She came in, was like, oh, man, you folded the towels? Yeah, I was, you know what I mean? I'm just looking out for you, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, babe. It was all good the night of. You know what I mean? Had a couple drinks. She was feeling good. I was feeling good. Like, it's, it, bro, it don't even, like... <laughs> <laughs> Sweeney, I thought I thought you was about to talk, tell the story about what happened at, like right after, like you fold the towels at the job. And no, 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 we don't, we don't, man. It's like we live in, we in a, we in like a, a like the suites. We ain't trying to do uh, all that. You got other people and shit. <laughs> hey, no, no, man. Sometimes it's like, man, we we try to make things way more complicated than it has to be. We try to break a kink into the job site. <laughs> I, I will say that that's fun though. It is fun. Yeah, yeah, it can be. It, it definitely can be. Then you can do the secretary role. It, it's fun. Right. It's a lot of. Right. Don't, get yourself, don't, don't listen to Marcus. Get yourself in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> your, your landlord gonna kick your black ass out. <laughs> let me, let me see if I can try some shit. <laughs> <laughs> But no, nah, though, man, we making this shit way more complicated. Like the past, I get what the pastor saying, and technically he's right. But like Trev said, man, we be trying to make it way more introspective, man. If you know your woman for, you know what makes your woman tick. You know what ticks her boxes. You know what makes her move. And it ain't all. And, and I'm sorry. And, and like somebody else said, because I know Trev mentioned the whole sapiosexual thing, and I have to agree. I think those type of women are few and far between. I don't think there's a lot of sapio. Yeah, yeah, there's not, not a lot. There's not a lot. There's not a lot. That's like I'd say like one out of nine, one hundred thousand, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I, every woman I see that says she was a sapio sexual. You look at who she done gave babies to, and you find out like, oh, that nigga don't look yeah, like that. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. How you a sapio sexual? You gave the draw to a mother that ain't graduate high school. Come uh, on, man. 